guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi I'm Lindsay and welcome to my youtube channel before I get into the video please hit that subscribe button with the little bell button right next to subscribe you want to get notified every time I post a new video and please do hit the thumbs up button if this video helps you out I know my piercing changing videos help you guys out a ton so that's why I'm doing more of them be sure to check out my instagram in the description box down below and I'll have it up here on the screen as well if you want to just type it in today's video is going to be a conch changing video and I've seen a few of these on YouTube but I feel like I have a lot to share I feel like I have a lot to bring to the table yes <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you two different kinds of jewelry a I think these are the most common kinds so hopefully this will help you out if you have one of these kinds of jewelry so I have a hoop in one of my conch and then a stud in the other one so I'll be taking both out and putting them back in to show you how I do that so yes let's get right into this conch changing video so I'm gonna start with the hoop side a seamless segment hoop so it has a hinge and it clicks into place sometimes you you might pick up one of those hoops that bends you could use those as well uh, but I think this kind is a lot more comfortable in my opinion so I'm just going to flip this to the front looks like the hinge is right here and then I have the segment part where it opens right over here on the other side so all you have to do is pull them apart and you'll hear a small click and it opens like this so that is what the hoop looks like it just literally clicks into place so it's pretty easy it's pretty self-explanatory but uh, these are the easiest kinds of hoops to put in in my opinion so if you can find one of these I highly recommend the ones that bend take a little bit more finessing and tools so that's why I like these ones because you can take them in and out without tools I have them in my septum and all of my helix piercings so it's literally all I wear so to put it in I literally just take the hoop and set it around your ear and then you just find the hole with one end, spin it around one side, and then just flip the other side down and click it into place. The stud is probably the more common one that people are looking to change. So this one is going to be pretty common for most of you guys. I would highly recommend using a pair of gloves if you don't do this very much because gloves grip the jewelry a lot more. If I was facing the same direction as you, you would be turning the gem away from your face so this way so we're just gonna turn the stud away from our face like this and then once it's loose just make sure you're not letting go all right now we have just the bar in take the bar out just pull it out from behind like that now the tricky part is getting the studs back in so this I have a little trick for it. A lot of people like feel around with the stud to see where the hole is, but there's, I mean, I think most people can do this, but this is just the trick I have. What I do is I fold my ear forward and I'm able to see where the hole is and then I just pop the stud in. So like, so I'll fold it forward. I see the holes right there. I get the tip of the stud in there, push it in, and boom, the stud is back in. And then all we have to do is screw the top on, which is pretty self-explanatory. I like to grab my ear, push the back of the stud outwards so that the stud sticks out. Grab the stud like so, so that the threading is sticking out like that. I don't know if you guys can even see it because it's so tiny, but push the stud out and then try to locate the whole turn and then as you can see it started and then you just want to twist it towards your face to tighten it and there you go, stud is back in. Okay, so that is how you change a conch piercing. I hope that you have one of these two kinds of jewelry. I obviously can't go over all of the different kinds of jewelry, but hopefully you have either the stud or a full seamless hoop that you can put in and th this helped you hopefully. <laughs> I said the ones that the hoops that bend are a little bit more of a pain in the butt, but 
some advice I have about those is instead of bending the hoop apart like this, you want to make sure you bend it side to side because then it will stay in a perfect circle rather than deforming the circle. But those are a pain in the butt. I don't deal with them. So if you can get your hands on one of the seamless hoops, they're really, really easy to put into pretty much anything. Leave me a comment down below telling me if this video helped you at all. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button next to subscribe if you want to be notified when I post new videos. And thumbs up button if this video helped you out. And please do check me out on my Instagram. I'll have a link in the description box or you can just type in what is here on the screen. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching another piercing changing video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.